Hi everyone, welcome back to Scrapstone tutorial. This class will introduce you to the software interface. Let's get started. In the previous tutorial, we have already introduced you how to download the latest version. The installation is very simple. Here we open it first. Scrapstone needs to be registered to use. If you already have an account, you can log in. If you forgot the password, you can click the forgot password button. If you do not have an account, you will need to register using your email address. Here, we just log in. On the upper left corner of the software is the personal center. Move your mouse over the username to see more information. You can change your password here or just sign out. Click the upgrade button. You can see the pricing table and plan information. On the left is the task list. All the tasks are stored in the cloud. You can access these tasks on any computer after you log in your account. Tasks can be grouped. Except the default group, all other groups can be started, renamed, or deleted. Right click on the task. You can start, edit, View data, rename, copy, save as, move, or delete the task. The icon here is for deleting too. Let's talk about copy. When copying tasks, we can turn a smart mode task into a flowchart mode task. But we cannot do it reversely. The top three buttons here are Import button, Creating button, and View button. The version number of current software is displayed here. Here is a help center you can give us feedbacks. Click the Setting Center button. You can open Setting Centers. You can change some basic settings, including what will happen when close the software, or what will happen when a task is finishing running. Here is the default file export directory. It is for the default path when you want to export the task result. Click the clear button, you can clear the software cache, but not the data. Below is the API setting. You can set the port or start the API service. Here's a detailed tutorial on the API settings. Click the button to check if the software has a new version. And of course, you can download it on the web page. Now, we return to the Home tab. Here's a shortcut to create tasks. You can refer to this tutorial to see what is a correct URL to input into. If we need to create multi-URL smart mode task or a flowchart mode task, we can click on these two buttons. If you have any questions, please cl click here to send us an email or contact us via Skype. Here are the software tutorials.
Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.